welcome back to my channel. I am Mamie and this is Mamie's Journey where I take you guys along with me on my life's adventures and journeys. Today is flight attendant um, information. Well, I guess more of like a vlog. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on my A days. I came into my base yesterday from Seattle and I was in my hotel room the night before my A day started. And then today I was looking on open time to see if anything was going to be listed and if I had a chance of actually getting picked up. And I was like, okay, there's nothing as of currently, so I probably won't get used. Then all of a sudden at 10.30 in the morning, I get called and I'm going to Hawaii, guys. I am so excited. I've never been to Hawaii before, so this is going to be a really fun trip. However, I unpacked my bag <laughs> like two weeks ago and I completely cleaned it out and the bikini and the dress that I normally bring with me just in case I ever get like a tropical layover, I did not repack. So I am going to have to go and find some new stuff. And um, my boyfriend was sweet enough to actually send me money. He was like, go get yourself some new Hawaii gear. I was planning on going to the mall anyways, but this works out perfectly. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Right now I'm at the airport. I'm going to leave, get on the tracks, go to the mall, get some stuff for Hawaii, and then come back and get ready for my trip. So come with me guys, let's go. I do not see any bikinis, but he said, look in loungewear for swimwear. Oh. Guys, I think this is literally all they have. Okay guys, never mind. I hit the jackpot. I found some bikinis and I'm actually super surprised that they even have anything out here considering it is the winter. And this is Utah, <laughs> but let's see what I can pull together with you. Okay guys, so I am back at the airport and I got all the things that I needed that I can think of off the top of my head. Just like one outfit, one cover up, two bikinis, some sandals, razors and some nails because I don't know any place around here where I could actually go get my nails done and it's something that I've been needing to do. So here are some of the things I got. Super cute and they say $17.99 but I'm pretty sure I got them on sale. cute. It's like a momo or a cover up. I plan on wearing it over one of my bikinis. So super cute. And it's on sale for $13.99. This is super cute. Crazy wave on the back. 
then this set. And together for these two, it was only $6.99. Like, that's so good. Everything that was like summer was on sale. So I'm actually super happy about this find. Now, the downside to this was the top that matched this was a large and it was the only size that they had. Um, now I do have a larger chest, but normally I like a size medium so that it hugs my body a little bit better. Um, but we'll see how it works out. This is it. It's super cute actually. It's like a bracer back and unzips, which I think is going to be super cute with those bottoms. And of course, I'm going to try everything on for you guys once I get to Hawaii, so don't even fret. <laughs> but this was only $8.99, so mm -hmm. cute. Now, this one is super bright. And I'm in my winter color currently, so we're gonna see how this looks tomorrow. <laughs> but I thought it was cute, so. And it was one of the only ones I could find a matching top and bottom to, other than the other one that I got. They had so many bottoms and like no tops, it was weird. And this is a cut I normally don't get in bikinis because I'm thick, like with three C's. So <laughs> these normally don't work for my bottom. Um, but again, it was the only pair that they have that really matched and were in my size. Um, and these were not on sale, but good price, $12.99. I thought was decently cute. I don't know how it's gonna fit on my body um, because they also didn't have this in my exact size and it was weird. They went by like dress sizes instead of like top sizes, but it's cute. It has cutouts on the side and it matches the bottoms perfectly. So. And for my nails, guys, um, I honestly am not a huge fan of getting my nails done at the salon because it damages my natural nails so much. However, my nails have been breaking so much lately and I don't know if it's because I had gotten my nails done like two months ago and they're just still in recovery or if it's just all that I do for work. Either way, I'm going to do the press ones for now. Um, and then just see how I like these, see if it starts damaging my nails at all. If not, I might just stick to press-ons, but all flight attendants know this is an easy hack to always have your nails done. I'm going to try to um, be a magician now and fit all of this inside of my luggage. And then I'm going to relax in the lounge for a little bit before my trip starts. It actually got pushed back by another like hour and a half so we don't even leave here until super late which means i will be doing a red eye and i will probably be tired so i might even nap um until it's time for me to actually leave but i will see you guys when i'm on my way to hawaii Hello from Hawaii. I have finally made it and I am so excited. Did you guys see the view? Oh, it's so pretty. Um, 
I made it in super, super early this morning or late at night, depending on how you want to look at it. And it was, I believe, 1.30 when we landed. <laughs> Got back to the hotel. I probably went to sleep around 3.45, 4 o'clock in the morning. And then I woke up around 9.45, 10 o'clock. It is now, I believe, 11.06. So I got ready super quick. I just decided, guys, I'm sorry, I don't have time to show you guys all of the outfits on because our flights ended up getting delayed. So our layover time got cut down. And so I'm not even going to have time to wear all of the stuff that I got. Um, but I just decided to keep it simple. Island life today and just go with a momo. It's something I would wear if I was like at home on an island somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Um, and it was easy to put on over my put on over my bikini, um, which is kind of like a surf bikini, as I showed you guys. Um, and it's easy to wear this to actually go out and about and explore while also just being prepared if I do want to end up going into the water at the beach or just going straight down to the pool without having to like change or anything like that. I do plan on first going to get some food. I absolutely adore, adore, uh, adore poke, <laughs> adore. <laughs> um, I love poke, I love fresh seafood, and I'm in Hawaii, so I know that there's a ton of freshness around and i'm going to try to find the best place there's a lot of locals nearby in the area that i'm in this isn't really like a super touristy location which i absolutely love um as i showed you guys beautiful views and there are some local shops um some some like food trucks and some grocery stores that are nearby so i'm a foodie i'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna go do some exploring and then we're gonna head down to the beach and then we're gonna go to the pool and then i'm gonna come back and shower and try to take a quick nap before i have to actually get up and go back to work so here we go <laughs> Hey guys I'm back and I actually feel like I did a lot today it is only 2 30 creeping up on 2 30 it's 2 28 right now and I have already done so much so I went to the local um, grocery store slash market called Don Kyoto and it was great there I got some loco moco I got um, some musubi and then I decided for dinner and right before I go back onto my trip to get back to base, I'm going to actually stop and either get poke or sushi. Um, so I'm definitely getting all the food that I wanted to. Those three things are like the things I feel are essential when you come to Hawaii. Um, it was beautiful. I also went to Waikiki Beach. I got to lounge out at the pool. I accomplished a lot today considering how late we got in last or this morning and then considering how tired i am i am happy to be back though i am going to shower and probably end up napping before i continue on with my day and then when i do go to get sushi or poke i'll probably be in my uniform because i do have to report back to work downstairs for pickup at 7 30. so all in all I feel like I did a lot. I actually do feel like I got to enjoy Hawaii, even though it was only for a day. So I'm happy about that. Um, my phone is dying, so it needs to charge since I've been out all day. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And maybe I'll add in a couple more clips of me on my way back to Salt Lake. But I will talk to you guys soon. I'm actually super excited. 
I have a couple more things to show you um, that ended up coming in the mail while I was away on my trip. So I'm going to be doing some review videos. Stay tuned for those. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, guys, it is officially a wrap for Hawaii. I am dressed in my uniform. I am ready to go get some dinner. So I'm actually going to head down and um, get some sushi before I have to actually report to the shuttle in order to go back to the airport so that we can go back to base and then that'll be the end of my a days guys this was a good a day trip like my adventure days were wonderful i got to go to hawaii i got to enjoy hawaii um i'm actually feeling really great after taking my little power nap but one last treat before i go and end this video well you guys probably want to see my sushi so i'll add that in too but I do want to show you guys this beautiful view. Goodbye, Hawaii. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. Yeah. At night, by the way, I didn't even realize, guys, that is um, the Honolulu Convention Center or the Hawaii Convention Center. And I drove by it today on my way to Waikiki Beach, and it's absolutely beautiful in there. So next time I'm out here, I'll have to stop by there and go on a hike. That's on the goal for the next trip. Goodbye, Hawaii. Okay guys, so I actually went to go to the mall to grab food and somehow I still have time. And so I'm like, you know what? I might as well take this last little bit of time, sit out on, on the balcony, feel the breeze, watch the beautiful sunset and eat my food before I have to go downstairs. So here is what it's looking like right now, guys. I'm gonna try my best. You guys are on front facing camera right now, I'm sorry. It's absolutely gorgeous right now. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this while I can. Um, and then I am going to go downstairs and go into work. I'm sorry, guys, it's kind of dark out here. They don't have lights, but um, that's okay. I'm lit by the, the beautiful sunset right now, so I'm happy. Let me tell you guys and show you guys what I actually got. I'm super excited and I was like, okay, well, at least if they have at either poke or sushi, I will be a happy camper. They had both. And so I went to a place called um, Honolulu Sushi for the sushi rolls. And I went to a place called Poke and Box for my poke. So I did get both, I splurged because I want to try both of them. And it's not every day that you are in Honolulu, so I figured why the heck not. But let me show you guys what these are looking like. Oh my goodness. Guys, this one is called the Dynamite Roll. And that one is from Honolulu Sushi. And this one is their Rainbow Maki from also Honolulu Sushi. And then this is called the Popular Box. And this is from a place called Poke and Box. And both of these were in the mall, but they were recommended to me um, for having great sushi. And I've heard that you can get it um, fresh, like fresh sushi, fresh poke from pretty much anywhere that offers it because of just how fresh all the fish is. So I'm super excited for this. Okay guys, so here we are. Ooh, let's do kind of like a mukbang. <laughs> I know the lighting is kind of dim right now, but um, Maybe if I could turn on the light in the room, you guys can see me a little bit better. Let me see. I think there's a little bit of light coming through. I'm not too sure. <laughs> but um, let's eat and see how all of this is. I'm going to start with the rainbow roll from um, Honolulu Sushi and see how that is. Guys, I'm from Seattle, so I know good sushi. And... Um, I heard Hawaii is one of the only places that has good sushi like Seattle. Mm. 
that's really yummy. Yeah. The tuna on this is very, very fresh, so very good. I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm going to try one of the pieces that has salmon on it. Ooh, salmon and avocado. Mm. Now, Seattle has good sushi, but I would not go to the mall necessarily to get good sushi. There's like actual shops that are really great, but the fact that you can go just to the mall, um, they have great fresh seafood and sushi and poke. So amazing. <laughs> I would totally live here. And I don't say that about any other place, but I would totally live in Hawaii. Let's try the dynamite roll, guys. These ones tend to be one of my boyfriend's favorite because it has like that crunchy stuff on it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's like crispy. I don't know if you can see that very well. Sorry, I know it's dark. Mm. That is really good. And that one is already smothered with spicy mayo, which I adore. I love spicy mayo so much. Wow. Okay. Five out of five for Honolulu sushi inside of um, the Aloha or the Ala Moana um, Mall. Delicious. Really good. Now let's try this poke real quick. Rice is nice and sticky. Trying to get a little piece of everything. Sorry, guys. I am a huge fan of fresh seafood, like all seafood, but especially sushi. And I cannot go longer than a week without having my sushi. So I'm so happy that this turned out and that I got to actually go and experience this. If you guys are ever in Honolulu in this area or just on Honolulu and near the mall, these two areas, Honolulu Sushi and Poke and Box, delicious. Hands down, delicious. Guys, I really hope here, let me get closer. Wish you a warm goodbye as I should. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is gonna be my first official vlog posted because the other one I kinda had to take down. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed taking you guys along with me. And oh, I can't wait to talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.